Hello, I'm George from Solid State Logic, and we stand in front of the SSL Live L650. Uh, one of the key features of our system is that it has the Dante API built into our operating system. This allows us, and has always allowed us, to do routing from the console directly as part of our show file. So, for example, if I wanted to patch 32 inputs, across the console I can do this and this is 32 Dante routes made directly in the console. Now this has always been a standard feature of the SSL Dante integration and that's been great. We load a show file, it loads all of our routes, we clear a show file, it clears all the Dante routes. We can manage everything as, as far as an operator is concerned just like patching anything else in our systems. What we've added to this is a new option that is called outside of show file, which is kind of what it says it is. So now I can, if I wish, I can make routes outside of the console. So I can now, if I need to route you know, my playback sources to an output somewhere else in the building, I can make those routes and they are now made outside of the console show file architecture. So if you think about a fixed installation, this could be the routes that need to stay in place all the time, routes to a PA or a drink coder or a transmission, things you don't want to break when you load or set up your console. So now we have the option of saving with the console and changing with the console, or then also having things, routes made and left permanently alone. Another element to that is, uh, and, and I can't show it today, but it, it's, it's the addition of an XML file within the console that creates a Dante exclude list. So I can take a single stage box and I can say that these outputs, for example, are not able to be routed from this system. Again, it's adding a layer of protection to fixed installations. And so that means that a stage box can be split between, say, two operators, where one only has access to certain outputs and the other one has access to the others. So the level of integration we've taken is a further stage within the SSL Live consoles, and that's coming out with V6.1, uh, which is out now.